how to get a man to open up and be vulnerable with you, or how to fix a man. Now, if you have a man that you're concerned that he's not opening up, he's not sharing his heart with you, he might even be struggling with some inner demons, some battles that he's dealing with, addictions, depression, anxiety, frustration, whatever it might be, and you're concerned that this also may be causing him to pull away, to not be giving you what you want, and you're not sure what to do, and you'd love to have him come closer to have a loving long-term relationship, well, this training is going to help you with that. I'm Brody Boyd. If you don't know me already, for over 20 years combined, me and my wife, Antia, have been helping thousands of successful women all over the world to get loving, long-term, and committed relationships with men they desire. So let's go ahead and dive in. So if you want to get a man to open up and be vulnerable with you, the best thing you can do is actually be in your feminine. Now, here's the thing. A man doesn't actually get a sense of fulfillment and meaning and purpose and masculinity in his life by being open and being vulnerable. Being open and being vulnerable would actually be him being in his feminine. Feminine is about openness and vulnerability and sharing. The masculine is about leading and guiding and protecting. So the masculine energy is, is actually the opposite of openness, feminine openness and vulnerability. Now, this doesn't mean that a man can't be vulnerable ever and he can't share his heart, which I'm sure you would like a man to share his heart. He can be in his feminine occasionally, just so you are aware that that is a feminine activity the masculine is about leading and doing. And actually, a man will get more sense of happiness, purpose, and joy in the relationship with you, more attraction as well, more feelings of love and devotion for you, when he is in his masculine, when he is leading, when he is leading you. So that is actually how you know that a man is caring about you and that he is invested in the relationship when he is leading, when he is taking the lead, just like in a dance. You can only have one person dancing, one person following at any time. When he is leading in the relationship, when he is planning things, when he is solving problems for you, when he is able to make you happy, when he is able to protect, when he is able to guide and and give you things, give you pleasure, give you enjoyment, give you everything that you need to be happy. That's actually what gives him happiness. So oftentimes I think women can get stuck on this because you may feel you have all these needs and you want connection and you want um, you want to feel safe and protected and you want to enjoy your life. Um, but men's needs are often different than that. He, men generally don't really care about even material things, um, you know, a connection, like all the types of things that you may think that you need. He actually cares about being needed, about feeling like he has a purpose, about feeling like he can make his woman happy, about being received by his woman, about being res respected in his relationship, being admired, being trusted. That is actually how a man gets his sense of feeling happy and feeling like he is. And it's not even happiness, maybe in the sense that you might feel. He's feeling more of a sense of completeness, a sense of purpose, a sense of meaning in his life will give him the ultimate fulfillment. So stop um, pro projecting onto him your sense of emotional wiring and needs because it could be completely different than him. Now, of course, if you're interacting with a man who is more feminine, his needs could actually be similar to you. And he's the one that's constantly opening up and asking you to... To, to listen to his feelings and to help him solve his problems and to give get your gets get your help and get your leadership and get help him make decisions but you're probably not going to be attracted to a man like that you're probably not going to enjoy a relationship like that where you have to be the man you have to be the leader the protector the provider but of course there are men like that and like I said your man may also have his moments and he will have moments where he is going to be in his feminine he's going to want to to share to connect he may want to let you know about some of the things he's dealing with or some of his problems, but it'll probably be pretty brief if he's a more masculine man and he's going to focus on solutions. He's going to want to solve it and more maybe just letting you know kind of what he's working on, what he's dealing with, um, which can be good as well. So the best thing you can do is actually heal him and help fix him and help him to be feeling happy by you being in your feminine, you will actually get to the sense of what you actually want, which is knowing that he loves you, knowing that he cherishes you, knowing that he's there from you. You're going to get that sense by him leading you well and by him devoting to you and investing in a relationship and wanting to make you happy. And the way you do that is by you being in your feminine. That means it's okay and it's actually great for you to share your feelings, you to open your heart, for you to be vulnerable, 
And I believe also a man is processing his emotions through you. So when you're actually sharing your emotions, being vulnerable, that actually helps him more than anything else to connect to his own heart. He does it through your femininity. Like you are the vehicle for his feminine energy when he's in his masculine by you sharing and being vulnerable and also showing him how much he does make you happy, showing him the path where he can win with you, sharing your problems and appreciating him when he is wanting to help you with your feelings, when he is wanting to help solve problems for you, when he does solve problems, when he does make you feel safe, when he does make you feel provided for, when he does make you feel happy, showing that with your body, your smiling, your, your, your physical touch and affection and your res respect, admiration, appreciation for who he is as a man, um, that's going to make him happier than anything else. And that's going to help heal him more than anything else. Anything else that he's dealing with, maybe he does have an addiction. Maybe he does have a depression he's he's going through or some anxieties or fears or whatever his personal struggles are, struggles in his career, in his life with family, health, whatever it might be. The medicine that he needs is you being in your feminine. You are the medicine that he needs by you opening your heart, sharing vulnerably, allowing him to take care of you, to give to you, to solve problems for you, to show you, to show him that you need him, that you need his help, that you value his help, and that he is your hero, saying these things to him. And we teach it, of course, in our coaching and the, the different um, things that we help our clients with in our membership, in our memberships, is we help them to really practice feminine, magnetic feminine communication. How do you actually sh share these things in a way where a man receives it, where he doesn't feel like you're bashing him over the head with your feelings, but you're or trying to penetrate him and get him to do something, but actually sharing vulnerably, showing your heart with something simple like, I feel sad, or I feel anxiety, or I feel happy, or I feel love, or I feel pleasure. I feel hurt, whatever it might be, sharing your heart vulnerably, opening it up um, in a way where he can receive it and doesn't feel attacked, doesn't feel criticized, doesn't feel like you're trying to control him or manipulate him. That's how you get a man to want to step up, to feel your heart, to be excited, to devote himself to you. And he'll probably share things as well. He'll probably say more more likely to say things like, you know, I love you. I care about you. I'm here for you. Like, let me know when you need something like I'm I'm I want to help you. Like, what do you need? What do you want? How do you feel? Um, those are questions he may ask when he's more in his mas masculine, when you activate that within him and he's going to want to help solve it for you and want to step into that even more. And cause he's being healed in the process of your feminine openness and feminine receptivity, receiving him fully as the man he is. So hope this is helpful. If you'd like to learn more and if you'd like to actually learn how to role play things like this, get the exact scripts you need to use to open him up, to get him to want to devote himself to you and care for you in a deep way, make sure you take our free Feminine Polarity quiz as well by going to FemininePolarity.com, FemininePolarity.com, or you can click the link in the description or comments below this training as well to get that now. It's really going to help you in your journey to get the relationship you want, loving, long-term, committed relationship with him as soon as possible. So much love, hope this was helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Bye-bye.